Cooking with Papa P. Today, I'm gonna to be making fettuccine Alfredo. My friend Rocky requested it, and uh, I just want to give a shout out to old Rock and uh, his wife, Maria. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be making two versions of the recipe. One is gonna be the original, and the other is gonna be the American version. And then I'm gonna show you the top three mistakes to avoid when making these recipes. All right, I just finished grating the cheese. Uh, when you're making an Alfredo sauce, you wanna be sure you have high quality ingredients, especially when it comes to your cheese. This is a Parmesan cheese. It's actually a Reggiano Parmigiano imported from Italy. It's one of the best cheeses that you can use in any Italian dish. All right, I've got my fettuccine cooking, and we're gonna start out making the uh, American version of fettuccine Alfredo. I know that sounds funny, but that's the truth about it. Um, the only thing different about this version is, like I said earlier, we put the uh, cream in. Um, some put garlic also, but I'm not gonna make it with garlic today. Um, also, as I'm cooking the fettuccine, I'm gonna go over the three common mistakes that people make while they're making this dish that causes it to kind of get uh, a little lumpy. I've got my pan heating up. It should be hot now. I'm gonna go ahead and, we're only gonna cook uh, enough uh, for about two people. I'm gonna cook a half a pound of pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and put a half a stick of butter in the pot. And let that melt. Now, one of the mistakes people make is uh, they'll put the cream in first and then the, the cream will get over temperatures of 170 degrees and then they'll add the butter. That will cause it to separate. So you want to put the butter in first. Let that melt up. <clears throat> you just want to make sure it's uh, it melts, you don't want it to uh, boil or bubble up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of heavy whipping cream. Go ahead and add some black pepper. Just a couple of pinches. We're gonna let that boil up and cook down. Fettuccine is almost ready. We want to cook it al dente. Firm to the bite. All right, uh, the cream is starting to boil. Uh, we want to cook it out a little bit, thicken it up before we put the uh, fettuccine in there. All right, cream is ready. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of uh, servings into the cream here. Let that fettuccine cook in there and absorb some of that cream. Let it cook for about a minute or two, probably about two minutes. Just let it boil up in there. <clears throat> now you don't want the uh, uh, cream to get uh, hot when you add the cheese. You want to shut it off, uh, shut the heat off right when uh, you put the cheese in. And then you just go ahead and stir it and it's ready to serve. Okay, this is ready. Now I'm going to put just a cup of cheese. Turn off the heat. We'll mix it around, take it off the heat, and there you have it, fettuccine alfredo. I'm going to go ahead and plate this.
there you have it. Okay. And uh, the third mistake is when people make the fettuccine alfredo, they sometimes don't make enough sauce to accommodate the pasta. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start the authentic recipe. I've got a new pan up here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and not light it up. It doesn't need to be heated. We're just gonna put the butter in. It's one stick of butter. This is two, uh, two servings that we're making. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put the in it. A little water is okay because we're going to be adding some water. All right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. Okay, now I'm gonna add a cup of uh, grated cheese. This is actually the Reggiano Parmigiana. Let's mix that up. And this is the authentic fettuccine Alfredo. Just three ingredients. Fettuccine Alfredo. Bon appetit. All right, now I'm going to try the American version. Nice and creamy. Get that on my fork. Mm. Very nice. Nice, creamy. Very simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and try the Italian uh, version. The authentic version. Mm. Also very good, but I prefer the American version. I like the cream. Well, thanks for watching and uh, happy eating and we'll see you next time.